Hello guys, this is Damian from ForexBot.com and welcome back to our video examples on a live Forex trading account. We remind that the trade you will see here is with and only educational purpose. So currently I see that the price of the New Zealand dollar, American dollar Forex pair is shooting down in bearish direction. This is why I am immediately selling and now I am going to tell you why I did this and why I opened this short trade uh, with the Kiwi. First of all, we have a trend, which I have marked with pink on the chart. See that this trend got broken like maybe 20 minutes ago. However, I decided not to short the New Zealand dollar, American dollar forex pair at this time. And the reason for this is that I saw another pattern that I'm going to mark with blue here it is and this is an expanding triangle pattern the two levels i just put on the chart the two blue lines they indicate the upper and the lower level of the expanding triangle notice that the price broke over here the bullish trend the bullish trend line exactly here it is and then the price broke the expanding triangle in bearish direction and i wanted to first see this break of the in the expanding triangle in order to confirm my short trade and my strong short signal that I'm currently getting on the 5 minute chart of the New Zealand dollar, American dollar forex pair. As a result of this, I expect that the price will move in bearish direction minimum with a distance equal to the size, the vertical size of the expanding triangle in its widest part. So I measure the size with this pink rectangle. And I apply it starting from the moment of the breakout. Then I stretch the rectangle and I see that my minimum target is located somewhere over here. Near 0 0.68. Near 0 0.6890. Or even 88. Now let's measure this trend with the Fibonacci levels. Is there a level that closely match with my target? Maybe the 61.8 or the 50 level? Uh, still wondering which level should I take as top of the trend? Uh, I believe that it is better to take the area around 0 0.6914 as the top of the trend because this candle week over here is part of a uh, big volatility on the chart and the actual resistance level is the one that takes into consideration this top over here and this multiple top over here. This is why I'm going to leave uh the upper the upper i will leave the fibonacci indicator over here taking this level as the upper part of the trend and now i'm zooming out the chart hmm. all right now let's position a stop loss order the stop I will place above the zero Fibonacci level, taking into consideration all the closed tops inside of the expanding triangle. This top and these tops over here. So that means my stop loss order will go somewhere, somewhere at 0.6915. I'm going to mark this level with red. Uh, 
Okay. And then I'm going to place a take profit order. Hmm. Uh, so the safe way to place this trade is to put your stop loss order at the 50% Fibonacci level. This way, the take profit order fully responds to the minimum requirements of the expanding triangle. Meaning that the level of the take profit order will be contained by the pink rectangle and at the same time the take profit order will be conformed to the psychological 50% Fibonacci level however this looks like a small target to me because after all we should not forget that the price also broke a bearish trend for this reason I believe that the trade could be held at least to the 61.8 Fibonacci level, which is the reason why I'm going to place my take profit order over there. And after all, if I put my stop loss order at the 50% Fibonacci level, I will have like a win loss ratio of, <laughs> of 1 to 2 approximately which is not a good win loss ratio and this is why I need to extend the gains of the trade taking into consideration the 61.8 Fibonacci level this looks like a more reasonable target in my case this is why I'm placing my take profit order at 0 0.6887 and I'm gonna mark this level with green because if the price hits either the take profit or the stop loss order I would like to have visual basis to talk about the trade later on alright now let's mark the entry point on the chart with white here it is Somewhere at 0 0.6899 approximately. So now I'm in the market with the New Zealand dollar, American dollar forex pair uh, being short with a target at 0 0.6887. And now that I have all the levels on the chart and I've marked them all with uh, the respective lines. I will pause this video and we'll come back to you later with results from this trade. Okay guys, I'm back uh, about maybe five or six hours later. This is so because this is uh, when I had time to, to shoot the results from the trade. Um, the good thing is that the trade was like uh, completed uh, relatively soon and it didn't take a lot of time. It took like, uh, maybe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 uh, times 5 minutes uh, which is approximately 1 hour this is what the trade took but uh, <laughs> I didn't manage to shoot the video because I was busy with uh, other trading opportunities on the chart so the good thing was that the take profit order on the chart was hit uh, the take profit order that is located at 0 0.6887 and uh, this ensured me that the trade is 100% successful and now I'm going to do some calculation in order to see the, the results from this trade. The first thing I need to mention is that the entry price was at 0 0.6899. 68.99. This is when I entered the market and when I subtract the take profit level which is 0. 68.87 I get a result of 0 0.0012 which means that the trade uh, was uh, brought like uh, 12 pips profit and now I'm going to calculate the percentage profit from the trade and I'm going to divide 0 0.0012 by the entry price which is 0 0.6899 I get a result of 0 0.00173938 and when I multiply this number by 100 I get the percentage result from this trade which is approximately 0.17% and 0.17% uh, is a very very good 
uh, result, um, having in mind that the trade uh, took only one hour. So, thank you very much for watching. This was Damian from ForexBolt.com. Looking forward to see you on the next live Forex trading session. And until then, I wish you happy trading.